Welcome to Good Food and Tours Jamaica. Now, let's elevate our ramen noodle with only a few ingredients. It's going to be so delicious and a little bit on the healthy side. So come now. Alright, so in a pot, we're going to get some water boiling. I just eyeball the water. And I'm going to put it on the stove to boil now. Now I'm going to go outside, cut my fresh scallions from my garden. Now I'm going to wash it because, look here, anything that you get from outside, you need to wash it clean from any bugs or any bacteria. Since we're going to use some of our scallions for garnish and it's not going to be cooked, it's good to wash it with some vinegar. Therefore, it's safe for consumption. Let's move on to our mustard. This green vegetable, it's also called gai choy and it's properly used in Chinese or Asian cooking and it's just perfect with the ramen. It elevates it. Oh my gosh, it brightens the, the ramen noodle soup. And of course, in prepping the vegetable, I washed it with some vinegar and chopped it up. Let's move on to our ramen noodles. So I'm using the creamy chicken flavor. I feel like it has this buttery taste. That's really good. Now, I'm only using two sachets because it's already salty enough. I don't need to use all three packets. So, and I waited until the water was boiled. Then I throw in my sachets. I kind of cook my ramen noodles a little bit different than what it says on the package. Then I add in my some scallions, not all of the scallions. I add in my mustard. Stir that up a little. And next we're going to be working on our eggs. Yes, we'll be elevating our ramen noodle soup by adding in some eggs. I had some water boiling, so I'm just going to add in my eggs right now. And I'm going to taste this before I add in my ramen noodles. And like two sachet was enough. It's salty already. You don't need no more salt. <laughs> and we're going to allow this to cook for around three minutes or four minutes. It, the mustard is going to cook in the same time as the ramen noodle. Give it a little swizzle swizzle. Free up the pasta. <laughs> Break up the pasta. Make sure it's it free flowing. <laughs> No, before I would have never added eggs to like ramen noodle soup. I wasn't a believer in that until my uncle came and said, oh, try it out last. It tastes really good. And I tried it out and it was so delicious. I was like, where have I been living underneath a rock this entire time? All right. So the noodles don't cook. It's that easy. It's that simple, right? We're going to plate up our noodles. And then we're going to go ahead and garnish. We need to cut into our eggs. I was hoping to get like a, a semi-cooked eggs. Well, no, all the eggs are cooked. But I wanted to get a little bit a runny egg. I didn't get that. But what I got was a perfectly boiled egg. And I am grateful for that. I'm going to go ahead and garnish with some scallions. Woo, make it pretty. A little bit of cayenne pepper. Oh, Lord. And... For me, I need a little bit of salt and black pepper and it's time to dig in that easy. And this is so delicious. Just by adding in some fresh scallion, some mustard and egg and cayenne pepper and bam, you have like a restaurant noodles, ramen noodles. It's so delicious and you know, I have to yeah, take it take it like this it's so delicious it's a little bit healthy you know what i mean like chewing some vegetables and some eggs to get your protein this is like a balanced diet a balanced meal right here <laughs> anyway thanks for watching and stay tuned for more exciting content like this